Hi everyone, it's Morgan from For the Love of Paper and I am here with this month's Scrapping Fun Kits kit and I am creating a little mini album that I'm going to use to document my Easter. So I started with a piece of A4 cardstock and I cut it down to 15 by 20 centimeters, so almost in half, a little bit smaller than half. Then I scored down the middle or just slightly off to the side I think it's about nine and a half centimeters and then ten and a half centimeters to give me about a one centimeter spine to my album and that's the album front or cover done then I started working on um, the piece in the middle uh, so I trimmed that just smaller than the 15 centimeters it's about 14 and a half centimeters and I can't remember what the width is because I trimmed this piece down but I scored it um, at one inch and then I did half a centimeter and I did I think six score lines along there um, so that I could make these two little flappy bits to stick my pages to so I think there was yeah one two three four yes uh, six score lines at um, half a centimeter each so if you wanted to replicate that that's what I've done there then I just trimmed off another inch at the other end so those two flat bits on either side will stick down to the, um, the album cover and then these other bits as you can see I've kind of folded it like a concertina um, to give me the two little um, I don't really know what you would call them but they're like the, the little flappy bits I guess <laughs> um, that you can stick your pages to so you'll see when it comes together I fold it and I've used some um, high-tech double-sided tape to make those two little ridges like that so I folded one side inwards and then the other two outwards and then the next one up and down and yeah that forms the little part in the middle of the album so again I'm using some uh, high-tech tape to stick this down because you've got you're going to have the weight of the pages and all the embellishments and any photos that you put on there so you want those to be nice and strong so I just um, stuck those down I did the middle first and then did the outside edges and that's pretty much the base of the album done um, now I'm going to start on making my pages and I was going to make the pages the same color and then I decided that I'll go with this um, it's kind of a really light minty green color so again I cut this down to 15 by 20 centimeters actually I make it a little bit smaller I think it's 14 and a half but yeah 14 and a half on that one and then I also make it I think 19 and a half centimeters uh, in width as well so it's just a bit smaller than the outside of the album actually that might be a little bit smaller again I'll measure it it's yep yeah, 15 and a half by 19 centimeters for those pages and then I scored them down the middle folded it in half and use my bone folder to get a really good crease on that and then I'd I trimmed it a little bit crooked so I just chopped a smidge more off the edge you don't have to do that it was only because of the way I cut it it had cut crooked so I was just straightening it up to go into the album and now I'm going them together now is when I do this I do the top and bottom on one side but for the sides oh, just a little bit in the middle to stick it together now for the sides you'll have to do tape on both sides so that it can stick over the little flat that you've made in the middle so um, I guess you can just watch kind of what I do it's a bit hard to explain um, yeah and I used high-tech tape on those end pieces as well so you stick one side to one side of the flappy bit and then um, stick the other part of your page to the other side of the flappy bit 
I, don't, I really wish I had a name for those because it sounds terrible. And that's how you put one page into the book. So you just go and replicate that for as many pages as you're doing. You can do a ton of pages. I've made a book that's had 12 pages. Um, it was a baby album. So it was the first um, 12 months or first year um, for a baby album. And so I've done it quite a wide one and stuck the 12 pages in there. So it varies as to how big you want your album. Then uh, next I wanted to create a little lift up flap for this album. So I've stuck um, tape on both sides at the top here to hold this in place. So I just trimmed down another piece of the green cardstock and then this time I did a one centimeter um, score line at the top or the bottom of the piece uh, and then use that part that I've scored off to stick onto the page but I've stuck it in the middle of the page so you don't you won't actually see that part so it just gives it a nice clean sort of finish whereas if you stuck it to the outside you're going to be left with a little tab on top and you don't want to see that unless you're going to be covering them with paper and then it doesn't really matter but I made this flap a little bit smaller than the page I think I think that's about a two centimeter gap, maybe not quite a centimeter and a half gap at the bottom there. And then on the second page here, I'm making a little pocket because I wanted to stick one of the uh, journaling cards from the kit into the little pocket. So I, I measured it with a pencil because that was easier. And then you, you pretty much guarantee to get a good, um, good size then. And then I scored on three sides at um, half a centimeter and then I cut out the little corner bits and then folded my three sides up so when you when you measure on your page um, be sure to add on a centimeter at the top and then a, uh, sorry half a centimeter at the bottom and then a centimeter for the sides so that you can get a half centimeter folded over a bit to stick your tape or glue to. I probably should have used some glue on this one um, just to make it a bit stronger but never mind. I don't think the album is going to be looked at all the time because it is so little and it is just a little specialty album for Easter. So I'm not too worried. And then I just stuck that down on this page. What I was doing. I think my tape lifted. Yeah, my my tape lifted, so I had to stick another bit on there because then I'd stuck my fingers all over and it wasn't really <laughs> sticky anymore. Oops, the life of a crafter. <laughs> and that is the um, pretty much the the base of my album all done. My pages, the little lift up bits, and the pocket. Now it comes time to decorating and embellishing so I sorted out all the words and worked out what I wanted on the front I wanted memories and I do add some other words to that and I popped this little journaling card into that pocket and then I did the outside of my album I used this um, little bunny paper it's kind of a, a fawny yellowy kind of color and I just put some tape on the page right around the edges to give it a really nice finish so it doesn't lift up and then a few bits um, in the middle so it doesn't like move around you don't get those big bubbles underneath and I stuck down the memories part and then I start working on the middle and I chose this paper that's got um, some uh, Easter eggs as my um, the covering for them the middle to sorry what are they they're not the middle the front and back covers the inside of the front and back covers that's what I wanted to say uh, so I just trimmed this one down so it was a little bit smaller than half the page and yeah I stuck those in gave them a bit of a rub down with the old bone folder to make sure that they were nice and sturdy now I have to apologize for this part um, and a little bit before that I'm working so far down um, I think I've mentioned in one of my previous videos that I'm filming on my phone now and because I can't see the screen I don't always know that I'm 
in, in within the screen. So I apologize that I am working a little bit to the bottom of the screen so you can't see exactly everything that I'm doing, but I will show you the whole album at the end so you can see what I've done. So on this little lift up part, I add a piece of the bunny washi tape from the kit and then um, the little word that says bunny. On the front, uh, inside front cover, I'm adding the autumn um, filler card guess you could call it or yeah die cut piece and then this one says something about autumn leaves crunching crunching leaves because it is autumn and we will probably have some nice crunchy leaves outside I thought I could put a photo probably of the boys probably just of Sam actually let's let's be honest um <laughs> running through some leaves I'll probably take him down to the park because we don't really have any trees at our place but I'm sure I will get a crunching leaves photo to stick on that first page. And then I just put this leaves washi tape, which is so super duper pretty. I freaking love it. It's really, really nice washi tape. Um, I just stuck that there and then added the words to the top and the bottom. And then that's that page finished off until we get a photo. Then the next page was the bunny and then this one I've got the that little word piece says egg and I end up oh, says eggs and I end up cutting the, the s off and then this washi tape I had in my stash from probably about three years ago I've still got some left um, and I'm going to use this one for picture and journaling of our Easter egg hunt that the boys do every year after the Easter Bunny comes and what's this one I can't remember what that one says I was supposed to see at the end oh there we go uh, happy times so I'll probably just put a photo of each of the boys on that left hand page um, on the, the little flap and then in the bottom one for each of them and then on the other page I'll probably do probably do journaling in, on the little card and I'll put a photo in behind it of them doing their Easter egg hunt so I think Roman will be able to this year he's almost walking like we're so close to having having steps taken so he might be able to hunt around for his chocolates but poor little guy he's, he can't have dairy so I've had to go and find some um, dairy free chocolates for him and I can't find dairy free egg like mini eggs I could only find these little bunnies so that's what he'll be hunting for this year and I can't wonderful memories is the title on this page and then I put down these little stamps that I've had for even longer I think I've had those for like five six years yeah probably since Sam was a baby um, and they just make a little train at the bottom of that page and then I got out my tiny little tiny letter stickers to finish off my title here so I just do egg hunt on this page and then I go back to the front cover I think uh, yep so I do Easter memories and then I do 2018 and that's the album done guys I will oh that's right I do stick this little charm on the front as well but yeah thanks for watching and um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like and share if you um, would like anyone else to see this and now I'll just do a quick flip through for you. Thanks for watching. Bye